Hey, it's John with Behringer and welcome to Music Studios. Today I have the X32, the flagship model of the X32 family of digital consoles. The X32 is loaded with Midas Design microphone preamps, motorized faders, wireless mixing capabilities, and a full multi-channel audio interface, making it great both live and in the studio. Let's have a look at some of the features of the X32. Looking at the control surface of the X32, we'll find our 25 motorized faders divided up into 16 for inputs, 8 for buses and DCA groups, and a master fader on the right. For our inputs, we'll find channels 1 through 16 on the first layer over here. Then we'll find 17 through 32 on the next layer. And on the third layer, we'll find inputs for our auxiliary inputs. These are the 6 quarter inch inputs on the back of the console. We'll find our playback from our dedicated USB recorder and we'll find our return channels from the internal effects rack. Each fader strip has dedicated mute, solo, and select buttons, along with PFL metering that will show compressor and gate activity. But the most exciting feature is our LCD scribble strips. These are going to allow you to label each channel with colors, text, and even pictures so that you'll always know where you're at when going between layers. Selecting a channel will allow you to control the parameters of that channel strip using the channel strip control section of the console starting with our config preamp section. The first encoder will control your mic gain or your digital trim, and we have controls for your individually selectable 48 volt phantom power and a phase flip. Next, you'll also find our low cut, which you can engage and dial in here on the surface, or you can press the view button and bring the parameters onto the seven inch TFT screen for dialing it in further. Now you'll find these view buttons on many different sections of the console, and again, it'll allow you to just jump right into that section and control the more advanced parameters. So moving on, we'll find next we have our gate and our compressor, and again, I can dial those on with the threshold here, or I can press view and find my more familiar parameters such as attack, release, all of that's in there. All you have to do is hit the view button. Next, we have our four band parametric EQ. Now this is a fully parametric EQ, so we have high and low shelving available to us, and we also have two different parametric modes, a vintage and a regular parametric mode as well. And what's really cool about the equalizer is that all graphic and parametric equalizers in the X32 feature a full 100 band RTA, real time analyzer, so that you can see what's going on. So you can ring out feedback or just uh, fine tune a certain sound. It makes it really easy to do. Next, you'll find our bus sends on four encoders. So there's 16 total mix buses on the X32. So you have sends for buses one through four here, or I can press this button here for five through eight, and now I have five through eight, all the way down to 16. So we have our 16 sends on four encoders. Finally, we get to the main bus section of the channel strip where we can uh, send to the mono bus. There's actually a separate mono bus on the console, and we can pan our channel and take it in or out of the stereo bus. Speaking of the stereo bus, let's talk about the output side of the console. We have eight faders here to control your groups and your matrix mixes, starting with your eight DCA groups. Now, DCA groups are digitally controlled amplifiers. It's basically going to allow you to control the volume of multiple channels on a single fader. So I could take my full 32 channel mix and bring it down to these eight faders. Makes it a lot easier to get around. Next, we'll find the master faders for our 16 mix buses, starting with buses one through eight, and then buses nine through 16. And finally, on the fourth layer, we'll find our matrix mixes. The X32 actually features six matrix mixes, and these are great for sending off mixes to an overflow room or a balcony. And in the case of the X32, we actually have full 24 dB and octave crossover filters in the matrix parametric EQ. So you can use this to set up a full stereo three-way crossover if you desire. Next to our dedicated master fader, you'll find the buttons for our mute groups, which allow us to mute uh, groups of channels with the touch of a button. And above that, we have some assignable controls. So the X32 actually features four assignable encoders and eight assignable buttons that you can use for various functions. You can see uh, we have one blinking right now because it's set for tap delay, uh, but you can use uh, the encoders, for example, as a bus send, maybe for your singer's wedge or anything that's important that you want to get to right away. Uh, using a shortcut to a graphic EQ is another good example, uh, but you have three pages of these, layers A, B, and C. So you have lots of uh, control that you can customize for you. Next, we'll find the dedicated controls for the X32's scene management system. The X32 features 100 scenes, which are full snapshots of the console, and it also allows you to save up to 100 snippets, which are like miniature scenes for a specific parameter, maybe a channel strip or effects plugin. Using scenes and snippets together, you can create up to 500 cues 
giving you lots of great options for programming the console for those theatrical productions or festivals or any other events where a lot of changes are happening. Above the main bus section of the channel strip, we'll find the USB recorder. The USB recorder allows us to record two channels direct to USB stick, and this could be your main left-right mix or a record mix or any signals you assign. It'll also allow us to back up and restore our show files, as well as install free firmware updates from Behringer.com. Rounding out the control surface are controls for our dedicated monitor and talkback sections. The X32 features a built-in talkback mic, as well as an input for an external mic. Now let's look at some of the menu options near the screen, starting with one of the most exciting features of the X32, and that would be the 8-space effects rack. The first four effects are set up as send and return effects, which are great for reverbs and delays, or any processor where you may want to send multiple channels to the same effect. The last four processors are for insert effects, such as a graphic EQ or Dynamics plugin. Out of the box, we have you set up for two reverbs, a delay, a chorus, and eight channels of graphic EQ. But of course, you can set up these slots however you like. All output mixes also feature Dynamics processing and six-band parametric EQ for easy system tuning. Above the effects, we'll find the library button. This will bring us to the preset library, which is filled with presets that we've actually gotten from some of our friends that are using the X32 out in the professional world, both live and in the studio. So this will give you some great starting points for EQ, compression, and effect settings. You can also use the library to save and load your own presets. Next, we'll have the setup button, which will bring us into various setup menus for the console. Next is the routing page, where you can select your inputs and assign all of your digital and analog outputs on the console. Finally is our metering button, which gives us a few different options for metering the signals going in and out of the console. And then finally, the home button brings us back to a nice overview of the channel strip of the selected channel. So that about rounds out the control surface of the X32. Let's have a look around back where we'll find our inputs and outputs. First, we find our 32 Midas Design microphone preamps. These are award-winning preamps. They're very clean. You're going to love them. Just below that, you'll find your six quarter inch inputs and outputs. Now these six quarter inch inputs appear on your third uh, layer here of inputs under auxiliary layer, and the outputs are fully balanced and assignable, so you can use these for whatever you like. You can also use these together for interfacing any external processing. The last two of these inputs and outputs are also on RCA connectors in case you need to interface gear that way. Moving along here, we'll get to some of our digital connectivity, starting with our AES-50 ports. Now you can use these ports to interface with our digital stage boxes, including the S16 or S32, or to connect to additional X32 consoles for a front of house monitor situation, or maybe a broadcast mix. Next, we have our Ultranet port, which you can use to interface with the P16 personal monitoring system or select TurboSound speaker systems using the acoustic integration feature. Next to that, we have our stereo AES EBU digital output and some MIDI connectivity as well. Next is the remote port, which you can connect to a wireless router to unlock the powerful wireless mixing capabilities of the X32. There are free apps available for PC, Mac, Linux, iPad, and iPhone, making it easy to control your mix from anywhere in the room. Next is the expansion card slot, which comes preloaded with the XUSB card, which is going to give you a full 32x32 32 32 channel audio interface for your computer. The X32 also comes with a license for Traction DAW software so that you can get up and running right out of the box. Or switch out the XUSB card for one of our other expansion options, including MADI, Dante, or ADAT. Just above that, we'll find our 16 assignable analog outputs on XLR jacks, including our main outputs, which are on outputs 15 and 16 by default. Rounding out your connectivity, we have dedicated monitor outputs for your studio monitors or Q-Wedge. And finally, we have a full switch mode power supply that works from 100 and 240 volts so that you can use the X32 wherever your travels take you. So this is the X32, the flagship model of the X32 family of digital consoles. I'm John with Behringer, and thanks for joining us here at Music Studios.